Hello, my name is Isaiah, also known as Zay Knives. Today I'm going to forge a letter opener. Now I've never used a letter opener, I've never held a letter opener, but somebody ordered one, so we're going to make them one. Okay, so while the forge heats up, I wanted to mention I'm using inch and a quarter by 3 16 1080 steel. 1080 is a more simple high carbon steel, but it's a very tough steel and it's going to hold an edge for a long time. Alright, so the very first thing I'm going to do is knock these corners back so they're more rounded and they won't dry out in fish mouth. Back into the fire. Okay, so we're going for a very dagger-like shape. That means we have a lot of steel to move, so I'm going to come over to the horn of the anvil. Start smashing in the tip. Before I go any further with the blade, I want to start the transition between the tang and the blade. I'm doing, doing this with a fullering tool and my hardy hole. Straight up completely missed the piece. Awesome. Cut the material off. Alright, so before I go further, I want to clean up the transition between the tang and the blade. Because I'm going to forge in the bevels. spot before I do that. Alright, so that's good for now. Alright, so now I'm going to thin the material out just a little bit more. Alright, um, from here I'm going to very slowly, very carefully start hammering in my edge bevels. And you can just see just the very start of a ridge there. Great, so the blade looks good. Now I'm going to flip it around and start drawing out the tang. Alright, so now that I've 
I've got the tang forged out, the blade forged out, I'm going to re-go over the blade and I'm going to straighten it and knock out any of the high and low spots. Do this at a slightly lower temperature. Very carefully. Go off the edge of the blade. Just tap the little high spots out of it. wasn't the case but there appears to be a twist in the blade so I'm going to heat it up I'm going to go over to the vise and just take that twist out with a pipe wrench all right so what I'm doing here is I'm going through and I'm heating the blade up very slowly getting it to a red temperature. This is the process of normalizing the steel. This is going to reduce the stress in the steel from the forging process that we just did. This is gonna help prevent any cracking or warping during the hardening process later on. All right, so a letter opener is a fancy man's knife and I wanna make it fancy. So I'm gonna take this half inch square piece of mild steel and forge a guard for our blade. All right, the first thing I wanna do is come over to the edge of the anvil and isolate just a tiny little chunk. Keep it a stock thickness all the way around. Just like that. Get it over to the far end of the anvil. And same thing on the other side. Half on, half off blows. So I need to be very careful here and make sure I take off the just exact amount of material that I need so that the guard is even on both sides. Make a mark, take a look. It looks about good. So I've evened out each side of the, of the guard, just about, close enough. We'll have to forge a little bit afterwards. But right now I need a mark right in the center of this because I'm gonna punch a hole through. We'll drift it directly on the tang of the letter opener. Yeah, it's a little off to one side. Hole we marked. Tap, give it a good tap. Alright, now I'm going to flip it over, mark about where the center is. Throw that back in the fire and then we'll finish the hole. So it's punctured through. So for this part, I'm using this tube. It's crushed down on one side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the guard on this way, put the tube over it, and then drive it down. Okay, so at this point, I have the guard forged onto the blade. I got the, the tang where I want it. Now I'm gonna go through, profile the blade. So I'm going to grind the edges where I want them. Then I'll harden the blade, temper it, and then we can start working on the detail work on the guard and the handle.
Okay, so I have the blade profiled to where I want it. I slimmed it down quite a bit because it is a letter opener. Uh, it looks pretty dagger-like at the moment, and uh, we'll probably we'll probably end up looking <laughs> like like a little dagger by the end of this. What I got here is Parts 50 quenching oil. This is the oil that we're gonna put the blade in after we heat it up to harden it. So now the goal is to try and heat up the blade as slowly as possible, get it to the temperature that I want it, quench it in the oil. And here we go, in for the quench. And just from the looks of it, it looks like we got a hardened blade. As you can see, the scale popped off. Okay, we got the knife out of the temper. So now we're going to grind in the edges. But first, we gotta put on all our safety equipment. rough grinding the blade and man does this thing look way more dagger like than I was thinking but I really like it it looks awesome I'm really happy with it so this is just at 36 grit so now we're gonna go up to 120 and then we're gonna go up to 400 grit on the belt grinder All right, so I've finished grinding all the way up to 400 grit. As you can see, I have chevroned the blade. Just makes a really fantastic finish for the, for any double-edged uh, blade, like this at least. Last thing I'll need to do for the surface finish is to scotch bright it. But I'll do that a little later, right before the final assembly. Uh, as for now, let's move on to carving this guard. Alright, so I have the blade and the guard both scotch bright finished right now. And they look really good, I think. Looks pretty sleek right now. Now I need to pick a wood for the handle and we'll start getting to work on the rest of the handle. Okay, so I have an idea of the sort of handle I want to go for. It's sort of a coffin style shape that I've, I don't know, that I've seen before. I just thought it was kind of cool. We drill the holes in the top of the piece of wood and then burn the tang in to fit. They're pretty good. All right. All right, so now I got the pieces fit together. So I'm gonna take some two-part epoxy. So I'm gonna get as much glue as I can in the seam. And it should be in there pretty tight. So now I'm gonna sit and let, let this dry and then we'll drill the pins. Well then the bottom 
one drill didn't find. I didn't. I guess I didn't properly normalize the tang, and it will not the drill bits. I've tried four different drill bits, and none of them will drill through the tang. So a bit of change of plans. I'm gonna have to make one rivet that actually rivets through the handle, and then make two like half rivets basically, just to plug up the holes. So there'll still be a mechanical lock because of the one uh, rivet. I guess there'll just be some for looks rivets right here that I'll uh, put in just for looks basically. So this handle is coming out really nice. I'm just about finished with the coarse belt. I'm gonna move on to the 120 and then I'll move on to hand sanding afterwards. rivets over and some of them are cracked and chipped at the edge so I think I'm just gonna grind them down to the pin stock I'm just trying to get the glue out of the very crease right there without scratching the blade oh, that's not, oh. That's not good. Okay, now let's put an edge on it Alright, so I buffed the blade, I scotch brighted the blade, buffed the blade, and sharpened it. So now let's put a boiled linseed oil finish on the handle. Oh man, this wood is great. So I swear my intention was to make a letter opener. Uh, it ended up coming out more like a dagger as a side gig, uh, as a letter opener. But what else better to test it on than an envelope? Let's see how it does. Perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. This thing is sharp. Flip it over to the other edge. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been Forging a Letter Opener. I guess now it's a dagger. My name is Isaiah. You can follow my work on Instagram, at Knives, Facebook, Knives. If you'd like to buy some of my work, you can go to my website, zaynives.com. Links are in the description of this video.